when I'm painting, I know most people, a lot of times they cut out first. And by that, I mean they do the part like this is very close to the edge or close to the trim. But I like to start rolling first. And then during my rolling, I like to get as close as I possibly can to the trim or any kind of molding. That way, when I go back to complete it or finish it, I won't have as much to paint. I hope that makes sense, you guys. But like I said, most people take the brush and they go around the edge and they do that first and then they come back and roll. But I like to roll first because it feels makes me feel like I've gotten so much accomplished in such a short period of time. And that's my timer, you guys. I also like to time myself when I'm doing certain things. Okay, so now when I go back to paint or to finish the edge or the, the edge of the wall or the cutout part, I won't have as much to do. It is time. calls me Lucy. So, I was wanting to get this accent wall done when he left this morning. So, I got everything together. I got my ladder, my paint, my rollers, my brushes. I got everything together, together in the garage. So, just as soon as I hugged and kissed him goodbye and walked out with him and he pulled off, Y'all, I ran in here and got my stuff <laughs> and got to work. So I started like 5.30 this morning and I had an appointment. So I needed to be done before my, before my appointment time. I needed to be leaving home, I guess, at least by about 10 o'clock. So I was done, y'all. But listen, I was moving it. And we are just getting back in from our appointment. And yes, see, this is the kind of stuff I do. I grabbed the paint because it had dried. So then once it was dry, I could kind of see if there were some spots that needed a little more coverage. So what did I do? Grab the paint, poured it in, got my roller, and got to start. Starting to roll. Didn't um, change clothes or anything, y'all. This, this, that's another reason why he called me Lucy. It's just the kind of stuff I do. And you all notice when I paint, I don't use a drop cloth. Um, I usually do not use, you didn't see me use any painter's tape. 
I like to use my angle brush and that helps me. Um, I was looking for my brush, where did I put it? Well, y'all saw my angle brush that I was using. I may have had wrapped it back up. My angle brush helps me when I'm cutting out. And I hope you guys understood what I was trying to explain about me. About when I was, most people or a lot of people, they start by starting at the edge of the wall first. And that's called cutting out. So they'll start doing the edge first. Maybe it's a little piece of the part I need to get. They'll start cutting out the edge first and then come back and roll. Y'all, I just, I don't like doing it that way. Because first of all, it's tedious. Um, and I don't like doing it anyway. Now, I'll do an accent while it's something like this, but it takes a whole lot of patience for me to, like, really paint a whole room. Okay, like, I don't mind doing this, and I might paint a whole room if it's easy. But, anywho, I just wanted to get this done, okay? So, I just come back in. Some spots I need to touch up, I did. As I was saying, I don't use a drop cloth. I don't use painter's tape. Um, every once in a while, I might use painter's tape. And it just depends on the situation or, you know, the area that I'm trying to paint. And one thing about our walls, our walls, our walls are textured. So they can be a little tricky, especially when you're trying to, like when I was trying to, let me see, cut in this or go all the way to the end of the wall and leave this part the creamy color because with the texture of the wall, sometimes it has a tendency to make the lines look like they're not straight, which aggravates me. But anywho, it's all good. Now listen, y'all, I said I was, I, I ran to get my stuff to paint because he doesn't know that I was gonna paint this wall. So when he comes in, um, y'all know me, I like getting true reactions. I'm gonna see if he realizes that this wall has been painted. You guys, I'm trying to get prepared for our new furniture that I finally went and picked out for this living room. So I'm going to see if he, like, notices that this wall has been painted. And I think the, the stuff I had on the walls, I think I took it off. Was it yesterday? I think it was off. It was already off this morning. So that way, you know, he wouldn't realize that the stuff was gone. Anywho, so I'm going to set you guys up somewhere. And have the camera going and that way we'll see when he comes in and hits this corner if he like did you paint this wall so, anywho so we'll see okay so is that everything i wanted to tell you guys um i guess you know by now i'm gonna do an accent wall with um my thought process is a lot of photos a lot of times people don't use a lot of family photos anymore in their decor a lot of people don't some people still do but a lot of people don't so i think that's what i want to do here okay at least that's what's in my mind <laughs> and with that paint you guys if you remember when we had our dining room and hall area painted there's an area this area right here um that's in our dining room is painted with the same color okay and what I like about it is that from the living room, you can see into the dining room and the two colors flow. It all connects because it's the same color here on the accent wall as it is in the dining room. And that area right there around the window, that's this dark color. So that little cove area, nook area, it's darker than the other gray that's on the walls in the dining room and down the hall, okay? So, again, I like the way it just flows. Now, my thought process is, I'm trying to decide if I wanna take the lighter gray and do the opposite wall over here where the TV is and the windows. What's giving me pause is that y'all that mean I'm gonna have to be painting around the windows and the fireplace and listen that's gonna be a lot more tedious I don't know if I feel like all that so we'll see um, because uh, with this paint that I just used we had 
a little more than three-fourths of a can of paint left because that's the little small area we did that was dark. I didn't want to... I didn't want to waste paint. We weren't going to do anything else with this paint. So I thought, okay, let's let's see if we can use it. So that's why I did this wall, the darker color. Now the other wall that I'm contemplating, I, I have another almost full gallon of paint of the lighter color as well. So again, I do not want to waste paint. So I'm thinking about painting that wall over there as well. We'll see if that happens. Um, but if I do it, I'm thinking about maybe not taking it all the way through to the little kitchen nook area. So we'll see, y'all. And if that's the case, if I don't take it all the way across there, then I am going to need the painter's tape because you're going to see where the wall, um, the, the one color ends and the other one starts. I don't know how that's going to look. But anyway, that's my thoughts. We'll see if I get that done. Um, but that's my thought process right now y'all one thing about painting and decorating is your home do whatever you like it doesn't matter if no one else likes it that doesn't live with you if you like it listen if you like it i love it all right okay so i think we're done and i need to leave this wall alone because i need this to be dry because if he sees these wet spots he's gonna know i painted um but we're gonna leave that be and then um, yeah, I'm trying to decide if I want to do something with it. Listen, let me just take it one step at a time, okay? Because I ain't for all this paint. Okay, you guys, he's coming in now. Let's see if he realizes that I painted this wall. Hey everybody, y'all, so it is the next day. Needless to say, evidently he did not even notice that I had painted the wall because he's not said anything. He did not realize that Lucy, a.k.a. Lucille Ball. Y'all, that's why he called me Lucy. Because for those of you that watch I Love Lucy, she was always doing something. Always. So that's why he calls me Lucy. But anywho, he didn't realize I painted the wall, y'all. So we're going to keep it moving. I have decided that I'm not going to paint this wall over here. Okay? I had pulled out paint this morning um, to paint it, but with what I want to put above the windows, um, let me see, I don't, okay, oh Lord have mercy, y'all listen, <laughs> I don't know when you guys are going to see this video, I'm just trying to capture bits and pieces as I go, the house is a disaster. So just for a time stamp, today is September the 1st. Happy September, okay? Um, our furniture is scheduled to be delivered tomorrow. Tomorrow. So that's why I wanted to get the accent wall painted and do a few other things. Um, I was tired of the window treatments. Um, and... Uh, so I took all of that down. And you guys, I don't know. 
I've taken different clips here and there. Don't know when I'm going to show what. But anywho, what I am getting ready to show you is my current situation. It is September the 1st, you guys. The house is a disaster because I'm moving stuff, taking stuff down. Thus the reason you've not gotten a cake video this week. Look, I just want you to look. I'm going to pan you real slow. Wait a minute. Stuff is everywhere. And when I say everywhere, everywhere. I'm, I'm currently mopping the floor, cleaning baseboards, you guys. Um, <sighs> stuff is just everywhere. I got pictures and picture frames and stuff from, picked up a few from Tuesday morning yesterday. It's some up there on top of the piano. And then there's some right here on the floor. Uh, I think before the furniture gets here, I'm going to kind of lay that out to see what I want to do how I want to lay them out on the wall. You guys, I'm trying not to move you guys too fast and just spin you around, okay? Look, just stuff everywhere, y'all. Wait a minute. Let me actually do it like this so you can see. Okay. Stuff is everywhere. Y'all know how you have to make a mess when, before stuff. Listen, y'all see my, that's my new um, carpet shampoo or that uh, Bissell sent me. And it actually came pretty quick. Look, stuff is in here. Listen, Jackson's uh, high chair, I think it needs to go to his house now. I really do. That's a Goodwill box that's in there. That's right. That Walmart box right there. Yeah, that's a Goodwill box. Um, look, just stuff everywhere, y'all. <sighs> Blinds that my husband needs to put up. Um stuff is everywhere I'm, I'm planning on I think I want to take these pictures that's here on the on the wall these six pictures and use them on the other side for my picture wall um, yeah <laughs> y'all got my I got my husband a blower <laughs> y'all remember him about there trying to start that blower and being all aggravated really it's like mine because I wanted something simple and I told him I want to get him like you know, a real nice one. I mean, not that this one this one isn't nice, but I just wanted to, you know, just do something, um, you know, maybe get him one that has more power for him, okay? So, yeah, yeah, this just stuff everywhere. And when I say I took down everything off the walls, those are my little plants there. So, you guys, this is why um, you've not gotten... A cake video this week because stuff is everywhere. Everywhere. Okay? You guys, so. This is what we're doing. Okay. And I meant to tell you, let me take y'all back over here. These little things here, um, I know I did a clip talking about them, but I don't think, as of right now, I know I haven't showed it to you yet but look these little things right here y'all i have had these for um let's see probably about definitely at least about six years i picked them up from goodwill um, and they kind of give me that wrought iron look. <sighs> so, um, yeah, they give me that wrought iron look. So I'm wanting to use them in my new decor with some black accents. Okay. <sighs> At least that's my thought process. Y'all know me. That's what I see in my mind. So, um, y'all, I feel so discombobulated because stuff is everywhere and I just really had not planned on getting into all of this. And I'm just like, oh my goodness. So, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to try my best. Today is September the 1st. I'm going to try my best to get at least this video together and get it out today. If not today, at least by tomorrow. But I'm going to try my best to get it out today 
so you guys will know what's going on. We're going to get back in the kitchen with the cakes next week, you guys. But right now, honey, listen. I, 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 this right here is chaos. And I don't do well in chaos. Okay, so I have to get our home back together. Um, but again, y'all, we, we prepare for this furniture to come in. And I just wanted a different look. So that's why I decided to just do away with those, um, the window treatments that I had. Up. We're just gonna we're just gonna do something different. And y'all, everything look, that clock up there, look, it just I just haven't grabbed that yet. But that needs to come down too. I don't know if I'm gonna use it somewhere else, but I just haven't gotten up there to grab it yet. But those little black things, I just felt like they would pop more on the wall if I left them the lighter color as opposed to doing them as opposed to see I was gonna paint that wall this color here that's what I was gonna paint these walls but I just decided to just leave it be just don't just leave it be okay leave it be so that's what I'm doing I'm trying to decide y'all see that big plant back this They're beautiful fall colors. Once upon a time, that was my color scheme. It's no longer my color scheme, so I'm trying to figure that out, too. I probably just need to replace some of those big um, <sighs> flowers. I think they're hydrangeas. At least some of them are. But, yeah, this is my current situation. So, you all bear with me. Bear with me. I'm go I'm getting back in the kitchen. I just I just came right now, honey, because I have too much going on. Okay. So having said that, let me just go on and end this <laughs> end this video right here. Um, stay tuned for the accent wall with our family photos. I think that's gonna be really nice. I can't wait to see it. And you guys, what I'm doing is I love, I love mixing metals. So I love my silver, my gold. I love the grays, the creams. So that's the vibe. And I'm gonna throw in, you know, the black. So that's the vibe I'm going for. The the metals, the, the golds, the creams. The grays, black, and that's just what we're gonna do. Um, and we're just gonna play with it until we get it like we want it. Lord have mercy, y'all pray my strength. Because this right here is not good. Mm -mm -mm. So let me get back to work. And um, like I said, I'm gonna try my hardest to get this video done. The first part should should have been pretty easy if you're looking at it because I, you know, I'm gonna speed up me with that painting process. But um, this is where we are today. I'm so glad I have to paint that wall, y'all. Oh, thank you, Lord. Mm, mm, mm. All right, you guys. So let me get back at it. But thank you guys so much for watching. Please stay tuned. Okay. We already look forward to you. Y'all knows I hear big truck outside. I already look forward to you joining us again next time. Stay tuned, you guys. Bye.